I was at the RNC and I saw something really discouraging and something really encouraging. What's discouraging is, yes, they're largely backing Trump. There's not the disunity that people have been talking about. Only a little bit, but not, not, not too much. Now, the encouraging thing was, I went on a lot of conservative talk stations, and we actually agree on a lot of things. They hate crony capitalism. We don't agree on a lot of social issues. But I want to get my conservative brothers and sisters there slowly. So I want to start with the things we agree on. Are the politicians corrupt? Yes. They agree to that. Do you think that if they get millions of dollars, it affects them? Yes. They agree to that. And so once we can get them to start that conversation, then you get into, wait, now, what do you think they bought with all that money? Maybe they bought a redistribution of taxes. You don't like the taxes being so high. That's because they redistributed the taxes on you and against and away from corporations. You begin that dialogue, and I think eventually at the end of that dialogue, what winds up happening is their anger, which is visceral and which is real, and that is being misdirected by Trump, might then go, oh, I get it. It wasn't the most powerless people in the country who did this to me. It wasn't undocumented immigrants. It wasn't you know, women who are getting paid less. It wasn't the teachers. It wasn't the Muslim refugees who aren't even here yet. It was the most powerful people in the country that set the rules so they win and we lose. I think we can get them to understand that. So the fact that we began that dialogue and that they agreed on the central elements of that, I was encouraged by.